Welcome to your Super Combined Primer. This is, I'm Chris Freud. I'm still with Ian Krop. How you doing? And here's the lowdown on the Super Combined. The race format. It is two races, one at 11 o'clock, which is the downhill. This is a straightforward downhill. Weather permitting, it will start from the very top, just like the regular downhill. Uh, and then we will take an uh, hour or so off. That we, you know, you're going to be skiing, aren't you? Yeah, I'm going to be actually slipping the course, racing the course, all of these things. So I'll take some time off, too. And then there will be a slalom race, um, which is just one slalom run as opposed to two slalom runs. In, the, in a regular combined, and the best time wins. So after the downhill, we reverse order, so the person who theoretically will, you know, the person in the lead, will then go last for the slalom, always making it exciting. So you have to stick around to the very last skier, folks. And, and if you were at last year's Super Combi, you know why. Bodie Miller held the lead after the downhill last year, and that lead was extended to 2.04 seconds Yikes. by the time he was in the gate ready to go, and he skied out, I think, on the sixth gate. Yeah, that's about 125th <laughs> of the entire course, two <laughs> yes. seconds. L leaving leaving uh, Axel von Swindle to uh, win the Super Combined. Axel is out, as uh, we've reported before, he was injured in Tuesday's training. Question, do you think the slalom guys have the advantage, or the downhill guys have the advantage? This is the eternal question in the combined. It really depends what the conditions are tomorrow. If it snows a little bit, I think maybe the slalom guys do, because it's going to be a slower course if it snows. But, that being said, the reason I love this event is because you never know. It's such a fun event. You get... The two, you know, varying ends, you've got slalom, which is a very technical event, and downhill, which in its right is technical, but it's a, a true speed event. So it's so much fun to watch because you never know who's going to do what. And uh, there's always the debate. You'd think that the downhillers might have a little bit more advantage. Because it's longer. Because the downhill is longer. Usually two slaloms equals a downhill time-wise, but you only have one slalom. That having been said, last year it was the slalomers who came back, even though Bodhi theoretically is an all-around skier. He's been having troubles in slalom recently. He certainly had it that day. So it should be an interesting day. Um, yeah, as, as we said before, don't leave. Uh, you, you don't Never. know <laughs> anything until a super combined is done. And seriously, watch the last downhill guy, because some of those guys are slalom. It's always fun to watch those guys, you know. <laughs> yeah. Their, their tips and try to make it down. For, the, for those who are sadistic uh, and want, like the crash factor, sometimes <laughs> I think this race... It's a bit of NASCAR! Yeah, th this race can produce some pretty spectacular crashes because you do have slalomers trying to get down the hill and make hay. Uh, and sometimes that doesn't work. Uh, I would say, would you say 1.5 seconds is probably the most time you can make up yeah. for the slalom? Usually. If a slalomer is being... You know, if, if some you know, someone is like 1.5 seconds or, or you know, in just you know, has 1.5 seconds behind, you know, he could probably make that up. But that's a definite other thing to look for. It means to be seen. Picks. Picks. Okay. Chris Freud's death pick. Since I said Axel Lundswindle was the guy to look for, and, well, that didn't work out very well. Oops. Sorry about that, Axel. Uh, Got to go with Benny Reich on this one. Austria, from Austria. Uh, he, he is a... a all, you know, all discipline skier. He has done very well in super combined, and so I'll take him and watch him crash uh, out of the downhill immediately. I've got Ted Leggett, you know, with his new flowing mullet coming out the back. Oh, and he it likes creates the a mullet. great airfoil. He, he said this himself. I think he's the guy to look for. That's where he made his mark in the Olympics. He's a great tech skier. His speed has really been improving. I think he's the guy to beat. And this is stunning. We, neither of us picked Bodie Miller. That's That's... You know, that could be a story in itself. Anyway, enjoy the Super Combined, and we will see you later on the web for complete updates, www.veildaily.com. Tomorrow we'll be reporting live from Red Tail, so look forward to that. We'll be cold. See you there. <laughs>